My name is Cindy Isabel Castro. Me llamo Cindy. I'm a theater maker, an educator, Latina, the daughter of immigrants, and a mom. I make theater, original theater, through devising with other people, sometimes as a director and most recently as a playwright. This year, I've been working on a piece called Un Lugar Imaginario to Meet a Loved One which is a bilingual interactive theater piece for young audiences that explores grief and death and the loss of a parent. I lost my dad a couple years ago and reading about just how many young people and families have lost someone in the past couple of years really inspired the piece. In the play, we explore the relationship between a girl and mom and how they're like navigating their relationship amidst loss. The young girl creates this imaginary world filled with objects that belong to her dad and the memory she has with her dad. I'm just having a hard time telling you how I feel. Um, maybe, maybe my friends can help me. What if the audience was imaginary friends for this young person who needed to share stories about her dad or, or needed to explore this grief? The piece invites the audience to help give advice how they can connect with each other because grief isn't always being sad. There's like moments of laughter, of joy, of lightness. You could enter an imaginary place and like escape the real world where that person isn't there and really relish in those memories that are real and sometimes are in objects that we hold, that that would be a really fun way to honor that person. Like photo albums, a record player, a baseball jersey. I feel like a lot of our memories are based in like our senses. And so I would want to collaborate with folks to help bring those things to life because I do want the audience to engage with the objects in the space and eventually have like food and other things that are part of memories. I would love to collaborate with people who think visually because this is the first time that I feel like I've leaned into something that feels to me like art installation meets performance. I would want to continue partnering with organizations who have access to youth or direct communication with youth who have experienced grief. Organizations like Emma's Place, I feel like that would benefit the piece to feel more grounded and true from a young person's perspective. She just comes into my room and expects me to listen to her. But ella no me escucha a mí. She doesn't listen to me. No le importa lo que yo pienso. I want to create work for young audiences that engages them in conversations about the world around them, exploring topics like grief or death or loss, and in a way that is still joyful and, and playful, but really engages them in that conversation that they are ready to have.